Hello and welcome to the channel Let's Learn Electronics. In our last video, we discussed the basic Zener diode voltage regulator circuit and it, the formula related to that circuit. If you have not watched those videos, please go back to the channel, view the previous videos for better understanding. This time we are going to start practicing our numericals. Uh, so let's start with this first basic numerical. This is the circuit diagram for a voltage regulator circuit. The input voltage supply VI has 16 volts. The limiting resistor has the value of 1 kilo ohm. We have to determine the voltage drop across it. The current IR is flowing through it. And the Zener diode has the breakdown voltage 10 volts. So this means that the moment the uh, voltage across this point exceeds the breakdown value 10 volts, the diode starts conducting. And before that, the diode is just like an open circuit. So if the value of the voltage is less than 10 volts, it is an open circuit. If the value exceeds 10 volts, it starts conducting and it behaves like a battery. I have explained this point in a very detail in my previous video. Go back to that uh, and view it if you are confused here. And we have to determine the value of the uh, VL, the voltage drop across this load resistor. As we can see, the RL has 1.2 kilo ohm value. So let's solve the question. Let's scroll down a little bit to understand it better. As of now, we are assuming that diode is not present and we have to calculate the value of this V, the amount of voltage drop at this point. If it would be more than 10 volts, then the diode would be in this scenario. Otherwise, it will behave like an open circuit. I have, it's a screenshot from the previous video. I have explained this formula in the previous video. Using this simple formula, we can calculate whether the diode is on or not. Let's enable the pen and start writing. To calculate V or VL, just a minute. Simply put all the values over here i hope the decimal point is visible let's highlight it it's 1.2 divided by 1 k it's simple maths you can calculate it on your um, copy side by side I'm just writing the answer directly now the value do it by yourself it will help you understand it better the answer should come 8.73 volts and as this 8.73 volts is less than 10 volts that means this V is equal to 8.73. It is less than 10 volts. So the diode is not on right now. It is behaving like an open circuit. Now we have calculated the value of VL. <coughs> Naturally, when diode is not on, there won't be any IZ. So IZ would be zero iz and pz would be zero right now forgive my poor drawing iz and pz would be zero let's calculate vr now vr is nothing but the difference between vi Look at this picture once again. What is VR? It is the difference between these two points. VI 16 volts and VL we know 8.73 volts. So just 
subtract subtract 8.73 from 16 and the answer calculating 16 minus 8.73 the answer is 7.27 volts do it by yourself it's a very simple question now once we have calculated vl and vr right now in this in with these values of rl the zener diode was not on now we will change one thing we will change the rl we will increase the rl from 1.2 to 3 kilo ohm let's change one value only increase the load resistor and then let's see what is exactly happening to the circuit we have now increased the load resistor this is what we want to check whether the zener diode is actually regulating the voltage or not as of now the load resistor was less it was just 1.2 volt so zener diode did not need to come into the scenario but now when the load resistor is increasing then what is happening here we can see with the new value of rl this is rl this 3 kilo ohm the new value is rl now what is happening 16 into 3 in upon 4 simple maths i am this may seem boring but i have to take the baby steps and have to explain this idea clearly that now as the v now as this is 12 volts as this value of v is more than 10 volts it has become 12 volts so the zener diode has come into the scenario the zener diode is now the hero of this circuit and the zener diode will behave like a battery and the circuit will look something like this let's scroll down and change the circuit and uh, as it is behaving like a battery these 10 volts a constant voltage is being provided to the new rl when it is 3 kilo ohm now new um, and now note this point carefully and now because the zener diode is in the scenario the zener diode is operating like a constant voltage source the value of vl would be 10 volts because it is now taking care of voltage regulation it won't let the voltage increase and uh, disturb the device this is what the zener diode is supposed to do so now the vl would be a constant value of 10 volts let's calculate il now il would be simply apply ohms law il would be voltage upon resistor so this is 10 upon 3 k 10 upon 3k we all know the value we commonly divide this thing it is 3.3 milliampere the new vr would be 16 minus vl minus vl the vl is a constant voltage the vl is stable now it will remain 10 volts as long as the value of v is more than the breakdown voltage so it is 6 volts let's calculate ir now ir is simply vr upon the limiting resistor's value this is simply 6 milliampere and now when we know the value of il the, the value of ir we can easily calculate the current flowing through the zener diode 
I will scroll up and show the circuit again to make you uh, to help you understand why this IZ is so simple to calculate right now. IR, the current which is coming out of the limiting resistor, is actually being divided into two branches. These branches are parallel. IZ and IL are parallel. So let's see, have a look at the circuit again. This VR is being divided, this IR is being divided into two parts. This is IR. It is coming here as IZ. This is IZ and it is being divided into these two branches and this is IL. So we know IR, we know IL. We can simply calculate the value of IZ like this. Subtracting 6 minus 3.33 simple maths we can calculate the value of IZ this is IZ 2.67 milliampere and using these values we can simply calculate the power dissipated in the Z diode PZ would be IZ into VZ into VZ multiplying 2.67 into 10 decimal comes here so it is simply 26.7 milliwatt which is thankfully less than the maximum rating it was mentioned in the question the maximum pzm is 30 milliwatt it is less than this so the circuit would be performing everything successfully let's have a look at the circuit once again if you then notice the value of pzm then it is mentioned over here PZM is maximum possible yeah, permissible um, power dissipation is 30 milliwatt 26.7 is in the range so we are done with this first numerical if you are confused in anything please feel free to message in the message box comment in the message box keep learning with let's learn electronics like the video share it with your friends and give us a feedback to improve our um, videos for your help thank you for watching bye bye